I'm actually back at my parents' house because we don't have internet at our apartment till Friday. So I'm probably gonna be here a few more days until we get all that sorted out. But I did sleep over there last night and it was great and everything. That's why I'm here in case you're wondering. I wanted to make this video because this YouTuber named Beauty with Emily Fox made a video a few days ago, I believe, with the same title, We Need to Talk. And I really, really, really wanted to talk about it and also link it in case you didn't know about it because I didn't know about her until um, Melissa Audrey, a video about it, and then I watched. And yeah, so it will be linked down below. In the video, Emily talks about kind of how YouTube commenters and really people in general because of social media have kind of changed. And I mean, that's obvious obviously that happened but I really wanted to talk about it because I feel like it's something that I've also noticed um but with the YouTube commenters we'll start have started to see people who make YouTube videos and who are on the internet and any social media as like not people anymore and kind of just like I don't know like entities or something there are trolls but there are also like people who are just blatantly rude like oh why are you so fat or like why like stuff that you normally wouldn't say to a person um and again that's not really including trolls because that's kind of like the whole purpose of trolling i definitely have noticed that and that's why i do not read my comments anymore because it's like no matter what you say no matter what you do even if i dedicated my entire channel to saving the world and going green there would always be someone who have something to say about that and again that's with anything even before social media was really a thing that was always how it was but I feel like because of how huge social media is nowadays it just makes it so much easier and I'm glad they are starting to like kind of crack down on that like I know Instagram came out with like filters for like comments so um people can't leave comments with certain words in them or whatever so I think that's good although some people probably would say that that's like censoring or whatever but I don't know but I definitely feel like I will even like even some youtubers I watch personally like I sometimes forget that they are human I don't know I feel like we just need to be reminded that everyone's human regardless if you put yourself out there or not um I know a lot of videos I put out on the internet even though I'm putting myself out there it's not easy and I feel like just because you put yourself out there doesn't mean you should just accept the fact that people are gonna say horrible things about you that no one should have to accept that really related to the fact that I miss old YouTube in the sense where people filmed on like webcams and like low budget equipment whatever because she did bring up a good point about how everything is such a production nowadays and it's like what happened to like the actual youtuber not the youtuber personnel oh, how do i say this what happened to people talking to their audience as like friends as opposed to like fans i don't know if that makes sense i feel like that doesn't make sense but to me it makes sense because there's a huge difference if you watch you can tell which videos were made in 2010 through 2011 or 20 12 through 2014 or 2015 to 2016 you can tell based on the production value it's almost like people's youtube channels now are like mini mini tv series or whatever like that you would see on mtv and i think that's great and all it's just hard to keep up with that if that makes sense and really do miss like the very down to earth real low production just friends not youtubers friends because that's how i f i felt youtube was back then and now it's just like youtubers instead of like at home friends that you watch make videos in their bedroom i literally almost started getting emotional though because if you haven't seen the video again it will be linked below but at the end she talks about how her sister wanted to get um a waist cincher because or waist trainer sorry because everyone on social media is promoting them and like teas and stuff and that really hit home because i personally feel like i i and i know i'm not the only one that feels this way it's like seeing like people's instagram photos and stuff like that and you're just sitting there like 
like, I will never be that flawless. I will never be that. I will never be that tiny or, and, and stuff like that. My hair will never be that long and beautiful. And it's hard. And again, that has always been around. But I do feel like because of social media, it's so much easier to feel bad about your insecurities and stuff because it's all in your face way easier now before what they were magazines i never personally read magazines when i was younger younger so that was never like a thing for me i don't know that's why i just want to go back to the 90s where everything was simpler but yeah i highly suggest you guys watching that video if you haven't because it was such a great video after that i subscribed to her channel fell in love and i'm really glad i did because you could tell how genuine she is. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.